Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Moto Mangi channel on this late February, slightly warm winter day. <laughs> There's snow around, but it's starting to melt finally in most places. Today I want to talk about the Harley Davidson Pan America. And to be more precise, I want to discuss how the Pan America just might be Harley Davidson's best touring motorcycle. I don't just mean adventure touring, I mean all around touring. Touring period motorcycle. So about a week or two ago, Harley Davidson had their live event and the big grand reveal for the Pan America, which is Harley's adventure touring bike. It's coming out in May. And there are lots of videos on YouTube going over the details of the Pan America and opinions, that kind of stuff. My personal opinion is, it looks pretty freaking nice. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm a little impressed with Harley. I thought the live event was, was stupid. I didn't like the live event. It was all marketing and not much talk of the bike itself. I did like Jason Momoa's little video at the beginning. I thought he did a good job. But for the rest of the live event, I wanted to know about the bike, not about the history of Harley Davidson. But that's, an old, that's a whole other motor vlog. What they did do at the same time was they updated the Harley website with all the specs and details and pictures of the bike. And that was nice. Finally, we know the weight of the bike, the price of the bike, all the specs and details. Price point, right in the middle of where it needed to be. The, he the weight of the bike, slightly on the heavy side, but still in the middle of where it needed to be. So with regards to where I thought Harley would be, that's a win. <laughs> that's a big hug and win. I think Harley did a good job. I think they're gonna have a winner on their hands. And I I hope they push the Pan America and don't put it in the back of the dealerships like they do the V-Rod and the Buells. I want them to actually try and sell this bike. You know, put some effort into it and give it a chance. What really got to me though, and this is what I want to talk about. Yeah, the bike looks great for adventure touring. The specs are good. It looks good. Features are great. All that stuff. But the more I read about it, and the more I learned about it, and the more I, the wider my smile got, the more I realized the Pan America is in many ways more appealing of a value of a motorcycle than Harley's own touring motorcycles. Some people might, might disagree with me on that, but hear me out. Looks wise, yes, that's a mixed bag for a lot of people. When people think of a Harley touring motorcycle, they think Street Glide, Road Glide, Road Glide Ultra, those kind of bikes which are correct. I mean, those are Harley's touring bikes. And if you're gonna ride two up, those kind of bikes are definitely better than the Pan America because the Pan America seat doesn't look very nice for two up. In fact, the seat's probably my biggest worry of the bike. I mean, we won't know how comfortable it is till, we, till May when people are riding them and test riding them and buying them and then we'll find out what, what the seat's actually like. But if you disregard the looks of the Pan America, I mean, if you don't, if you take it for what it is, feature-wise and specs-wise and price-wise, the Harley Davidson Pan America is one hell of a value. I mean, look at it. It's got, and I'm talking about the top-end version, the Pan America Special for 20 grand, 19999 which is quite a bit less than a Rogue Light Ultra or a Electric Glide Ultra, or even a Street Glide Special, a Road Glide Special. And the Pan America comes in like six grand less, five grand, six grand. If you go to the Ultras, like 12 grand less. <laughs> For the Pan America's money, you get heated grip standard, adjustable windshield standard. Now, yeah, it's a smaller windshield and it's not electrically adjustable. It's not like the goal wing here where I have a button to go up and down. You have to actually manual loosen the clamps and write it up down, but you can adjust it. You can set it 
where you're comfortable or where you want to be. Ride modes. It's got road, sport, rain, and off-road. Four ride modes. Suspension has electronic preload and damping adjustment with ride with a suspension modes like comfort, off-road, sport. I think it's a fourth one too, I forget what it is. Probably two up or cargo or something like that. Suspension has 7.5 inches of travel on it, which is a lot of suspension travel, more than the Harley Touring bikes have. So if you're riding the Pan America across country on the highways or on back roads, it's probably gonna have a better ride quality and ride feel than the Harley Touring bikes do. It's got the Revolution Max motor in it, which is Harley's new water-cooled engine. Oh man, messy road here. I have to be careful because while the snow's building, there's still a lot of crap on the roads here in Pennsylvania. Loose gravel and road salt and stuff like that. So I have to be, this is gonna be a, I'm not doing any sport mode riding today, that's for sure. All right, back to the Pan America. Um, the motor, the Revolution Max, 150 horsepower. Standard, <laughs> Damn, Harley Davidson. For reference, a Roguelite Ultra comes in at like 86 horsepower standard, I think. That's a 2021 Roguelite Ultra with about 100 foot-pound torque. The Pan American has 94 foot-pound torque, so essentially the same, slightly less, but it's comparable. It's basically the same thing. And the Pan American weighs 550 pounds, which is about 400 pounds less than a Harley Touring bike, like a an Ultra, like a Roguelite Ultra or, is it, or a Electric Glide Ultra. If you get out of the street glides, it's a little closer, but they're like 800 and some. Either way, you cook it though. The Pan America with its aluminum swing arm and a stress member engine frame design, the Pan America is a light motorcycle with a lot of power which gives it a fantastic power to weight ratio. I mean, it's even better than this Goldwing. My Goldwing here has a hundred. Oh God, I forget what the numbers are on this damn bike. Um, I want to say this Goldwing has like 120 horsepower, 110, something like that. But I know it's less than the Pan America. So the Pan America with the Revolution Max engine makes more horsepower, about the same torque as my goal wing, but weighs a lot less because my goal wing weighs like 830 pounds and the Pan America weighs 550 pounds. So it's a light bike, but with identical range because the Pan America has a 5.6 gallon gas tank, which is about the same as this goal wing. The goal wing is a five and a half gallon tank. Now the Harley Touring bikes have six gallon tanks, but they get more spiralage than the goal wing in the Pan America. The Pan America gets like 46 miles a gallon, I think it is average. So about the same as this Gold Wing. Maybe a little less, but it's close. So range is the same. The Pan America suspension, the Pan America sits higher, but it has this feature where you come to a stop, the suspension automatically lowers to drop the ride height down so you can put your feet down easy. And that's a nice feature because adventure bikes, you sit a little higher than like a street glide or a road glide. But also the seating position is different on the, the Pan America. Adventure bikes sit more like this Goldwing does where your feet are back behind your knees a little bit and you're more upright. It's a really good rider's triangle though. Very, very comfortable for long rides, for long distance rides. That's one thing I've noticed going from my road glides to this Goldwing was that the seating position for the Goldwing is a lot better for long distance riding on like the road glides and street glides, your feet are forward on the floorboards. So more of your weight's on your butt, which could give you a saddle sore over the long haul. But on like the Gold Wing and the Pan America, your weight is shared between the balls of your feet and your butt. So, so you don't get saddle sore like you do on the other bikes, on like the Harley road glides and street glides. So the Pan America will likely have a better riding position for long distance riding than the road glides and the street glides. It has heated grips, it has ride modes, adjustable windshield, suspension modes, and if you put those hard cases on the Pan America, they have more storage 
than the normal Harley saddlebags do. You put a top case in the back, also has more storage than a Harley Tour Pack does. Comes standard with the center stand. Maintenance will be easier, oil changes, that kind of stuff, because of the center stand. And plus you have the ability, if you're out cruising around the country, you come across a dirt road or a gravel road, you're on an adventure bike. You just have no inhibition about going in light off-road situations. Now, unless you're riding with off-road tires, I wouldn't go any hardcore off-roading, but mild off-road trails, you can certainly do on the Pan America with street tires. With this lower weight and it's better suspension, travel, you could definitely go off-roading with that. So there I was going over the specs of the Pan America and it occurred to me that in many ways, the Pan America seems to be a more attractive touring bike than Harley's own touring bikes. It's a more modern design, better performance, better specs, less price because you put those hard bags on the Pan America, you figure the bags are a thousand or fifteen hundred or so, and suddenly you've got a superior Harley touring bike for a lot less than a Harley touring bike. <laughs> And I have to wonder, for the Harley riders who don't care about the looks of the bike, how many Harley touring riders are going to switch from their road glides and their street glides and their road glide ultras and stuff to a Pan America? Because I know if I was still on a Harley, I'd be thinking about it. Now I'm on a Gullwing and I'm very happy with this bike, so I'm not going to be switching anytime soon. This Gullwing is awesome. But I have been considering buying an adventure bike for a second bike. And if I do decide to get an adventure bike, I'm going to seriously look at that Pan America because it's just really that good. Probably did a good job with it. But while I was realizing how awesome of a touring bike the Pan America is, I just kept thinking, man, do I want Harley to make an actual touring bike? like the Pan America, like a lightweight modern sport tour because now they're halfway there. You take the Pan America, put a road glide ferry on it, put some hard luggage on it, sell it like that for the factory, <laughs> and bam, the 150 horsepower and 100 foot pound torque, 500 some, 500, 600 pounds of motorcycle weight, You've got your Harley Sport Touring bike right there. Good for you, dude. It's cold and there's snow in the road, but you're out riding. Well done, man. Hey, right, back to it, so. Yeah, seriously. Put a Rogue Glide fairing on that Pan America, put some hard luggage on the back. And you've got your Harley Sport Touring, your modern Harley Sport Tour. With heated grip standard, adjustable windshield standard, ride mode standard. Adaptive headlight standard for cornering, cornering headlights or whatever they call it. Electronic suspension adjustment standard. <laughs> Ride height adjustment standard. Center stand standard. <laughs> 150 horsepower standard. 100 foot pound of torque standard. Damn it, Harley. Let's get it done. <laughs> Just go ahead and do it. 2022, let's see it. The Harley Davidson Dirt Glide. <laughs> The lightweight Harley Sport Touring Bike. They can also go light off-roading too. The Harley Davidson Dirt Glide. You got the Street Glide, you got the Road Glide, you got the Dirt Glide. I have to think, sometime in a year or two, or sometime soon, very soon, we're gonna see that from Harley. I have to think they're gonna do that. And that this new frame, this new motor, the Revolution Max, I think this is gonna start a whole new line of motorcycles for Harley. And it should. I mean, I hope they do it because they need to do something to compete with Indian, which is really kicking ass lately. They gotta do something to compete with bikes like this, the Honda Goldwing and the BMW K1600 or whatever it's called, the Kawasaki, is it the Concourse where that touring bike's called? I don't even know. All the modern 
touring bikes that are out nowadays. Harley's falling behind them. And this new motor and frame and the new features that are on the Pan America, if they include all that on the Harley Touring line, yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Harley could really knock it out of the park, I think. And they're almost, they, they've got half the work done already. More than half the work done. Just put a fixed fairing on it, put some hard luggage on it, sell it like that standard. Bam. The Harley Davidson modern sport lightweight touring bike. The Harley Davidson dirt glide. <laughs> I even like the name. I mean, I made that up. Harley's not, you know, Harley, you know, they haven't said anything like that. I'm, but if Harley wants to use it, feel free. I let, yeah, I'll, you go right ahead, Harley Davidson. You call your modern lightweight sport touring bike the dirt glide. I might even buy one. So that's my takeaway for the Pan America reveal. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's also a pretty impressive adventure bike too. <laughs> I guess that's a also pretty important, isn't it? <laughs> so let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think Harley's gonna make use of that Revolution Max engine and new lightweight frame and put it in a touring bike? Are they gonna put a whole new line of bikes that are separate from the classic air-cooled engine lineup for people who want more modern Harley Davidsons? I think they will. I think they're gonna do it. And to see the Pan America and how awesome that turned out and the outstanding job Harley designers and engineers did with the Pan America. I mean, you gotta hand it to them. Harley did a good job. It came in at the right price point, at the right weight and specs. Well done, Harley Davidson. Bravo. Bravo. So, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit the like button if you liked it or dislike if you hated it. <laughs> I'm going home because it's cold out. But spring's right around the corner now. I can feel it. Bring it on. Thanks for watching. See you later. Ride safe. Take care. See you next time. <laughs>